The following Action 10 newscast is brought to you in Newscribe, made possible by your local Tennessee Ford dealer. Quality people, quality products. From East Tennessee's 24-hour news channel, WBIR-TV Channel 10, this is Action 10 News Nightly. Good evening, Edie has the night off. Knox County deputies are looking for a man who dressed like a police officer, then kidnapped and assaulted a young woman. In our top story, detectives released this computer composite drawing tonight. The suspect is a Hispanic male with dark skin in his mid-30s, medium build with thick, dark eyelashes. Monday afternoon, the suspect used a blue light, pulled over a car on Interstate 40 near Campbell Station Road. When he approached the car, he struck the female driver, knocking her unconscious. The victim woke up sometime later inside the car after the suspect had driven it a short distance. A man's in intensive care after a rush hour accident on Interstate 640. Jackie Cox suffered multiple injuries when the car he was in rammed into a utility pole along the interstate at Clinton Highway. Another person in the car was treated and released from St. Mary's Medical Center. Police say the accident occurred when the car was switching lanes. They believe alcohol may have been a factor. The death of a talented Clinton High School athlete has shocked the community. A three-car crash took the life of a 17-year-old honor student and basketball star yesterday. And as Al Clancy reports, police believe the driver of the car that hit the girls may have been drinking. She's being remembered as a loving, caring, wonderful young lady. Just last month, Sarah Stockstill cut the ribbon to open the new gymnasium at Clinton High School. She played basketball and volleyball here and did much more to make a positive impression her friends say will last. Sarah was an honor student. Uh, she was a wonderful person, and we all we miss her greatly. Sarah Stockstill was on her way home from basketball practice Wednesday when tragedy struck. A witness told police he saw a car being driven erratically coming from the Claxton community along this highway. He told them he saw it cross the center line and hit the car driven by Sarah Stockstill. The impact to the girl's car was on the driver's side, and police say she apparently died at the scene. The car that hit hers was driven by 40-year-old Frank Weaver of Knoxville, who police say served time after being convicted as an habitual criminal. Police say emergency medical technicians noticed an odor of alcohol at Weaver's car, but charges are pending as the investigation continues. Clinton High guidance counselor Sue Marler said Sarah Stockstill, who was in the top 10% of her class, was planning to go to college and had prepared a resume that spelled out her honors and activities. I used her resume with the English teacher as an example of one that was done correctly and beautifully and, and as an example of, of someone who is a good all-round student and all-round person. Al Clench, Action 10 News. Frank Weaver's in stable condition tonight at UT Medical Center. A passenger in the third car involved in the wreck, 14-year-old Tyson Marlowe, is hospitalized uh, there in serious condition. With all the cars on the highway this holiday weekend, drivers should be extra careful as they make their way to their destinations in case they encounter any snow and ice. Joining us live uh, now is Officer Gary Holliday from the Knoxville Police Department with some tips on making it a safe trip. Officer Holliday, thanks for being with us. Winter weather is here, and indeed, there was some ice on the highways this morning. Uh, creating some problems for some folks. What should drivers do in those kinds of situations? Well, people need to remember, number one, to give themselves plenty of time if they're going to travel in bad weather. Uh, they should always be prepared. Uh, if it's snow, they should have chains. Uh, we really don't recommend to drive in ice. There's really no safe way to do that. And if you are going to drive in bad weather, you need to prepare yourself, uh, have blankets in the car, uh, hopefully have maybe a CB radio or something like that where you can uh, call help if you need it. Are there any other supplies that we should take along? I think most of us are woefully ill-prepared when we take off on a long trip. Any other things that we should take along to help uh, be prepared for emergencies? Well, if it never hurts to take uh, some kind, something to drink, maybe something to eat, uh, blankets, flashlight, uh, just anything you think you might need, it, it's helpful to take. Officer Holiday, you were with us a week or so ago, and we talked about uh, the possibility of drunk drivers during this holiday season. Of course, that's always with us. Give us some advice again on uh, what uh, imbibers should do when they go to these parties. Number one is try to have a designated driver. If you're going to go to a party and drink, have someone there that's not going to drink to drive you home. If you don't, call a taxi, take a bus. Just don't get in that car and drive if you've been drinking. 
Okay, uh, one other question, Officer Holliday. We just had a story about a man who uh, apparently impersonated an officer, pulled over a woman uh, using a blue light on his car. Uh, what, what should drivers be aware of when, it, it, when and if they're being stopped by what appears to be an officer? Well, if, if the car is a, is a marked car, you can plainly see that it has blue lights on top of it. Uh, it. It's a white car, you know it's a police officer. Go ahead and stop. If it's an unmarked car, Go ahead and just pull to a well-lit area. Uh, drive to where there's some people. Put your uh, emergency flashers on. Drive slow. Uh, the officer will follow you there, and I'm sure the officer will understand when you pull over. If you explain to him, they'll understand. Okay, thank you very much. Very good advice, and we hope you have a very Merry Christmas, Merry Officer Christmas. Holiday. Okay, thank you very much. On the night beat, an injury accident occurred within the last hour at Middlebrook Pike and Piney Grove Church Road in West Knoxville. 911 dispatchers say the vehicle slammed into a utility pole, bringing down power lines. One person was trapped for a time inside the car until freed by emergency personnel. The Department of Energy is asking for information about science experiments conducted on humans. It's opened up a hotline for anyone with knowledge of the DOE or any other government agency using people for medical and scientific experiments. Earlier this month, workers at the Energy Department's nuclear weapons complex in Oak Ridge sent letters to members of Congress they want to find out whether the government is still experimenting on humans. The Energy Department recently released a document saying some people were used for radiation experiments during the 1940s and 50s. Anyone with information can call the DOE hotline at 1-800-493-2998 Monday through Friday. Well, TenCare has gotten the go-ahead from the federal government. Governor Ned McQuarter received a letter today from the director of the Federal Health Care Financing Administration Office TenCare is set to begin January 1st. It will replace the state's Medicaid program. Christmas spirit is really hard to define. It could be buying a thoughtful present, giving to charity, or singing a carol. Chuck Denny has a story of two people who get great joy from decorating at Christmas and allowing others to enjoy the sights. They still believe in Santa Claus at Darlene Fisher's house in Powell. When St. Nick visits Friday night, he may just want to stay. Inside, Mrs. Fisher has turned her home into a winter wonderland, the North Pole, Southern style. She's made many of these decorations, including a ceramic nativity scene. Most of us have trouble putting up one pretty Christmas tree. The Fishers have seven. It's just fun. It's something that makes me happy, and I just really love doing it. Christmas is a special day for Darlene. December 25th, 1986, she underwent a bone marrow transplant for cancer. Now years in remission, she wants to make the holiday joyous for others. I said if I made it through that, it was gonna be, every Christmas would be special. So, and it has been, it's really been a joy. Bill Satterfield is Santa's special helper assigned to work Keck Road in Northwest Knox County. He dresses as Santa and wishes all who pass by a Merry Christmas. I am bundled up like an Eskimo to a degree. Bill draws lots of traffic, much of it to see the 4,000 lights in his yard. He and wife Carolyn also do a special display every Christmas. This year it was this 10-foot gingerbread house. We started in September. My wife draws this out on plywood. It's cut out of plywood and then we paint it three or four coats of paint, then seal it up good for the, you know, for the conditions, for the outside weather. The Satterfields and Fishers do the holiday up every year and already have ideas for 1994. Both say the true meaning of Christmas is finding the joy you can bring to others. Chuck Denny, Action 10 News, Nightbeat. No matter how low the temperature drops tomorrow night, Mr. Satterfield says he will be out. If you want to stop by, he's on Keck Road, just off Clinton Highway. Well, it looks like it'll be a white Christmas in some places. What about our area? Meteorologist Marty Skold is in next with a forecast, and it's about time to think about a new year. We'll tell you how to sing it in with a song. December 91, Ford has the best-selling cars and trucks in America. December 92, history repeats itself. For 93, it's a three-feet of the best sellers at your local Ford dealer. Save on the number one cars and trucks during Ford's best sellers year and clearance while there's still time. 
for just two twenty nine per month. Drive the Ford F-150. Now with a standard driver's airbag. Or go with the hot-selling loaded Ranger for just one ninety nine per month. Save at your Ford dealer during the best seller's year-end clearance. It's a three-feet event. You just won ten million dollars. Think about your day. You know, getting like a what lady. You want, you got if you won ten million. It's the Knoxville Guidebook for Kids, sponsored by the Knoxville News Sentinel. It's a color book tour of Knoxville's fun places and interesting facts. Inside, you'll find all kinds of hands-on activities, from dot to dot, to Aladdin's maze, to word scrambles and more, plus valuable coupons from area merchants. You get all this for $1.50 at these locations. So pick up your copy today, the Knoxville Guidebook for Kids, and look for the Action 10 News Color the Quiz page. Well, certainly winter weather and Christmassy weather here. The Chris, what is it, Christmas Eve Eve? That's right. And That's it's right. very, very Christmassy today. That's right. And for Christmas Eve Day, it looks like it's going to be cold. Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, we look for some very chilly temperatures here for East Tennessee. In fact, temperatures as much as 20 degrees below normal over the next several days. Well, we are looking at daytime highs over the next couple of days in the 30s and the 20s. But tonight, our overnight low projected to drop to 22 degrees. That's a shot from our sky cam on what's turning out to be a very chilly night here in East Tennessee. Cloudy skies at the hour, a temperature of 30. Our winds are calm, humidity 66%. The atmosphere is pretty dry at this point. Pressure reading holding steady at 30.22. Our official high today, 34 degrees. Overnight low, 29. Well, for tonight, with mostly cloudy skies and light winds, we'll dip down anywhere between 20, 22 degrees. In the morning, we look for mostly cloudy conditions. By midday, possibility of a few flurries. Nothing significant. And later in the afternoon, some light snow, a temperature of 36. So it will make it feel a little bit like Christmas Eve. Across the region, we're seeing temperatures range from 29 in Crossville. Up in Millsboro, Kentucky, they're reporting 27 degrees, 25 up in London Corbin, 32 down in Chattanooga. So temperatures are really starting to see a chill. And overnight lows will be in the teens and the 20s across most observation sites. Out to our west, a couple areas are picking up some snow. Portions of Oklahoma, portions of Nebraska. Most of the nation under very cold air coming in from the north. Arctic air has moved all the way down even into northern Florida, where some of those folks will see some freezing temperatures tonight. Very cold conditions all the way from Missouri back on through Oklahoma, northern Texas, picking up some snow. Portions of Indiana back in the Dakotas. But here at home, we look for just a lot of clouds. Maybe a snow flurry issue. Nothing significant that would cause any problems for travelers tomorrow getting to where you need to be for Christmas Forward to the air area tomorrow, we are looking at high pressure being very dominant across most of the southeastern United States. Florida will be seeing some rain, snow from Minnesota back on through Montana, Wyoming, a little bit of snow in western Texas and portions of New Mexico. Well, this is what we are looking at for the next five days for East Tennessee, which will include Christmas Eve Day and Christmas Day itself. Friday, tomorrow, a temperature of 36. 36 again on Saturday. Sunday. 40, so getting a little bit better, but Sunday morning will be chilly at 18 degrees. Combination of rain and snow on Monday, and then Tuesday clearing out again with a temperature near 40. For more information, you can call our info line 24 hours a day at 637 7700. Most areas of the country for people who are traveling are pretty good at this point. There haven't been mm -hmm. a lot of delays today. There were some areas yesterday in the southeast, but for the most part, pretty good. Okay, uh, very unlikely we're going to have a white, not a real white Christmas. No, we may see a few snow flurries tomorrow, but yeah. nothing significant. Okay, well. Go to the mountains if you really yeah, want the snow. Yeah, it's white. It's, it's close okay. enough. Yeah. Right. Thanks okay. a lot, Mark. He's almost become a New Year's tradition, helping thousands of people ring in a bright new year with music that inspires the soul. As Margie Eisen reports, Con Hunley has had quite a year and isn't letting this New Year's Eve go by unnoticed. A white Christmas would put the perfect cap on a year full of highlights in the spotlight for Knoxville native Con Hunley. He's practicing for his big New Year's Eve concert at the Grand Hotel, a concert that attracts faithful fans and new faces. You know, I started playing 
Uh, well, to Corner Lounge, I guess, back in 1969, 70, and that. And I've just developed a lot of friendships over the years, and people who love to hear me play, and and uh, who I have a lot of I, I have a lot of fun with. And uh, well, I've just been very fortunate that uh, that keeps me going. It seems to keep them coming back. In the last 20 odd years, his music has gone from the Corner Lounge straight to the White House. He was a special guest musician for Hillary Rodham Clinton's surprise birthday party this fall. The president even joined him with a little jazz. I really consider it quite an honor, you know. I mean, really and truly, I've, I've, I've played, been a lot of places and played a lot of places and uh, a lot of real special things, but I don't think anything's any more special than that. I mean, I, that's something you don't get to do very often. But something he has done often is sing in the New Year. This is the 12th year he'll take the stage for a New Year's gala. And like the years before, Hunley will welcome in the new year with a song. I'm Margie, on location. Con Sue Brothers and his sister will join him at the Grand Resort Hotel, along with Butch Baker. The music starts Friday, December 31st at 8.30, goes on into the new year, and Marty Scove will be there as the MC. Uh, President Clinton makes his business dealings an open book. When we come back, we'll tell you what he's doing to clear up questions. And mass gunmen in Russia take 12 children hostage. Their whereabouts are still unknown. Hi, my name is P.S.D. England, and I'm in Mogadishu, Somalia. And I'd like to say hi to my mother, my father, my sister, my Debbie, my granny, my grandma, and everybody else, and my friends and family back in Tennessee. Happy holidays. Should your name be on this envelope? It should, if you're age 50 or over and thought it would be difficult to get valuable whole life insurance. This plan guarantees your acceptance because of a two-year limited benefit period. Benefits won't decrease because you grow older. Premiums won't increase. It costs just $6.95 a month per unit. To find out more, call now. Call 1-800-332-5300 and receive this free gift, 1-800-332-5300. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Every year at this time, we count our blessings at Walmart. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We are thankful we get to live in a country where freedom has no bounds. We wish you a Merry Christmas. But most especially, we're thankful for the people who make our jobs possible. And a Happy New Year. To all our vendor partners who bring us our great products, and to all our wonderful customers who buy them, may this be the merriest Christmas of all. It's the most magical time of the year, the holiday season, and your Jeep and Eagle dealers are working some magic of their own with an incredible zero-down holiday sale. Make no down payment and still save up to $1,500 on Jeep Grand Cherokee V8. Get big savings on Eagle Vision. And save over $1,100 on Jeep Cherokee Sport. So hurry in and enjoy that magical feeling only the holiday season can bring. The zero-down holiday sale ends December 31st, so see your dealer today. For information on CAT scans, contact the Action 10 News info line at 637-7700. Health information provided by the Ford Sanders Health System. President Clinton is giving the Justice Department all of his documents relating to his investment in an Arkansas real estate partnership. The group is linked to a failed savings and loan that's under federal investigation. A White House spokesperson said today the president voluntarily released the documents and he doesn't think they're relevant to the investigation. The Ku Klux Klan has won a round in the high court. On the world beat tonight, the Ohio government appealed to the Supreme Court that KKK crosses be banned from state capitol grounds. But it lost its appeal today. Ministers have uh, put up a group of crosses on the capitol grounds in protest. In Russia, four masked gunmen stormed a gym class, taking 12 children and their teacher hostage. The gunmen fired submachine guns into the air, then took the children to an airport and demanded a helicopter. One girl was released. She told authorities the gunman told her they had AIDS and had nothing to lose. Officials don't know where the helicopter is. And the daughter of Cuba's communist dictator says she has nothing to say to her father, Fidel Castro. She told reporters she used a fake passport to defect to the United States yesterday. Her 16-year-old daughter is still in Cuba. They hope to be reunited in the near future. The balls head south for their New Year's date in Orlando, and there's a new rich guy on the football field. Bob Kessling tells us who's the new highest paid player in the game. It's that wonderful time of the year again. 
when you wish you could turn back the hands of time. But just in the nick of time, Profits is having a sale. You'll save 25% and more on timely gifts for everyone on your Christmas list. It's a sale so big you won't have to rush all over town. You'll save time. And after all, time is money. Profits nick of time sale. It's an idea whose time has come. It's the most magical time of the year, the holiday season, and your Jeep and Eagle dealers are working some magic of their own with an incredible zero-down holiday sale. Make no down payment and still save up to $1,500 on Jeep Grand Cherokee V8. Get big savings on Eagle Vision and $500 cash back on Eagle Talent. So hurry in and enjoy that magical feeling only the holiday season can bring. The zero-down holiday sale ends December 31st, so see your dealer today. At the center school, you work as fast as you want to, your own pace. That's what I mainly like. There's always somebody there to help you. If you have a question, somebody is there to answer it for you. I think anybody that has dropped out of school, they should at least try the center school. It's not why a person quits. It's why they were motivated or pushed to, to come back to school. J.C. Finney and UTV Home Video present Vols 93, Tearing Up the Turf. Relive every big play from the season that saw the Vols light up the scoreboard like never before. 64 yards, touchdown, Tennessee! Available in early December for $19.99 at participating J.C. Penney stores. Or by dialing 1-800-488-3883. Order before December 10th to guarantee delivery in time for Christmas. Sponsored by WBIR-TV, the Knoxville News Sentinel, and WIVK Radio. I understand that the, if you have a young son and you want him to be a multimillionaire, put a football in his hand, teach him to pass, right? No question about that. Or hit a baseball, but right yeah. now, tonight, throwing a football is pretty good. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later. First, let's talk about the Tennessee Volunteers. They arrived in Orlando today. The Volunteers had their first official activity of their stay in Florida. SeaWorld hosted a Get Acquainted party tonight. Members of both the football teams, Tennessee and Penn State, participated. Coach Philip Fulmer led the Volunteers in to watch the show, which, of course, as you might expect, featured Shamu, who was a game, a, a night that the players and the Tennessee families enjoys. That's Katie Cutcliffe, the daughter of Tennessee offensive coordinator David Cutcliffe. Of course, uh, Shamu was the star of the show, and the volunteers like Craig Faulkner had a great look at him. Also, there's uh, Kevin Mays and Heath Schuler, Paul Yetkowski, and Jeff Smith getting an up-close look. And the star of the show tonight, Moe Phillips, and the offensive line putting on their best hula impressions tonight. The Players got a big bang out of it, and I tell you what, Mose was hanging in there pretty good with her. More fun coming up this week, of course, from Orlando. I have reports this weekend, and of course, next week, live reports as Tennessee gets set to take on Penn State at the Citrus Bowl. Uh, former Tennessee wide receiver J.J. McCleskey got a nice Christmas present tonight. He was signed on by the NFL's New Orleans Saints. McCleskey was signed by the Saints after he uh, tried out for the team as a free agent. He was cut before the opening game. McCluskey will be in uniform this weekend, so congratulations to J.J. The Dallas Cowboys also will have this guy in uniform for a few more years. Today, Troy Aikman became the richest player in the National Football League. The Cowboys quarterback signed a multi-year deal tonight. The deal apparently worth $50 million over eight years. Aikman happy to get it out of the way and knowing he'll be in Dallas for a long time to come. It makes me feel relieved to finally get this behind me. Uh, and, and know that, that I'm going to be here with the Dallas Cowboys for, for basically the rest of my career. Aikman receives an $11 million signing bonus. His package averages out to $6 million a year. That's higher than Steve Young in San Francisco. Those type numbers would have to catch the eye of Tennessee's Heath Schuler as he tries to make up his mind about leaving school and entering the NFL. Schuler expected to be the first quarterback selected if he chooses to come out. College basketball, the nation's number one team tonight on the road at Tulsa. Nolan Richardson's Arkansas Razorbacks got into a shootout against the Golden Hurricanes. Al Dillard, their junior college transfer, had another big night. He bombed in three or oh, four three-pointers for 12 points on the evening. Arkansas looked like they're going to have this thing in control, but suddenly Gary Collier led Tulsa back. In fact, this turned out to just be back and forth all night long. Corliss Williamson had 27 points for the Razorbacks. The game went to overtime before finally Williamson hit a big basket as Arkansas wins against Tulsa tonight in overtime, 93-91. to 
Kentucky right now is playing in the second half tied with Arizona. In fact, Arizona now has just taken a five-point lead against the Cats. That's in the second half. Connecticut has knocked off Fairfield. In the first now, Minnesota leading San Jose State. Wisconsin beat the Mississippi Valley State 115 to 79. Ohio State over Boston College by two. Tennessee Tech beat Chaminade. Texas over Notre Dame. And Southwestern Louisiana beat Memphis State 82-79. The Dallas Mavericks tried to avoid making history tonight. Last night, the Mavericks tied the NBA record for consecutive losses in a season with 20. Tonight, they went for the record 21 against the Minnesota Timberwolves. They've only won one game all year, and that was against Minnesota. Jamal Mashburn with the slam. He had 15 points on the night as the Mavericks took the lead, a lead they never gave up. Jim Jackson goes coast to coast. He had 28 points as the Mavericks' losing streak comes to an end. They beat Minnesota 93-89. Elsewhere tonight, New York over Atlanta, 84-75. Orlando got 34 from Shaquille O'Neal to beat New Jersey by 10. The Lakers lost to Miami by 7. Charlotte over the Celtics, 118-100. Cleveland beat Milwaukee. It was Chicago over Detroit, 81-72. Allen Houston had five points in that game for the Pistons. Denver over Houston, 106-93. Utah beat San Antonio, 96-88. It is Seattle leading Phoenix now in the third and the second. Golden State on top of the Clippers. Also in the second, Sacramento leads Washington by five. And in the second, Portland on top of Indiana, 28 to 20. I'd say tonight, Moe's Phillips made us all proud. Oh, I'd say so. I think he won the Hula Contest. He, had, he had the moves down, didn't he? Moe's gets it done. No question <laughs> about it. I believe they're all having a good time. I think they are, too. Okay, thanks a lot. And here's Marty again. The weather a lot warmer there than here, but they're going to see some rain tomorrow. We're going to be seeing a few snow flurries tomorrow, but that's going to be about it, folks. Mostly cloudy. A temperature tomorrow only 35 degrees. Christmas Day, mostly cloudy and 35. Okay, thanks, Marty. And finally, Santa Claus lives in Central Florida. Just check his passport. It says Santa Claus right there on it. The man legally changed his name from Winfred Eugene Holly 11 years ago. And he plays the role to a hilt, except he doesn't drive an eight reindeer sled. He drives a 1964 model car. Claus says he isn't impressed with those look-alikes at the shopping malls. Being Santa Claus, he says, does have its privileges. For one thing, he gets a discount when he buys candy canes at stores. And that's all our time for this December 23rd, 1993. For Bob, Marty, and all the others, I'm Bill Williams. We thank you for watching. Hope you have a very good night. Be sure to listen to meteorologist Marty Scold's forecast throughout the day tomorrow on WIVK FM 107.7 and News Talk Radio 990. People talk, but do we really listen? What we get in the mail today? Uh, same as usual, all bills. Well, just put them on the table with the others. We can pay for a couple of those, but the rest are going to have to wait. Just seems like we'll never catch up. Maybe we should just file for bankruptcy. Or maybe there's another way. What about Consumer Credit Counseling Service? Consumer Credit Counseling Service of East Tennessee, proudly serving these areas. Call for your appointment today. Action 10 News has commitment. Tons of it. From the area's only mobile satellite uplink, Action 10 News Skylink, to the most advanced weather radar available, Doppler 10. If it's out there, East Tennessee, and you need to know about it, news, weather, or sports, Action 10 News has got you covered. Day in, day out, around the clock. If it's going on, you'll see it on Action 10 News. Straight from the heart. 1994. The tradition continues. Channel 10, in conjunction with Alpha Delta Phi Sorority, presents Bridal Fair. Everything you need to know about the wedding is at Channel 10's Bridal Fair. It's free to registered brides, and guests are only $5. Register at Area Profits Department Stores, Paramount You Like at Cleaners and Laundry, Buy for Less, Gingas Formal Wear Center, Salon Visage, and Pardons Jewelers. Come to the Civic Coliseum January 29th and 30th for Channel 10's Bridal Fair. The Heartland Series, brought to you by Home Federal Bank.
promise to mow the lawn all summer. Do the dishes every night for a month. Somehow mom and dad always came through when you really wanted something. Well, now your dreams are bigger. But you can still count on money from home. Home Federal Bank. From a brand new house or car to a business of your own. Home Federal Bank is there with the hometown resources you need. After all these years, it's still good to get money from home. The spirit of the season dances in on the strings of Evan Carowan's hammer dulcimer. He is joined by Michael Ginsberg. December 91, Ford has the best-selling cars and trucks in America. December 92, history repeats itself. For 93, it's a three-feet of the best sellers at your local Ford dealer. Save on the number one cars and trucks during Ford's best sellers year and clearance while there's still time. For just $2.29 per month, drive the Ford F-150. Now with a standard driver's airbag. Or go with the hot-selling loaded Ranger for just $1.99 per month. Save at your Ford dealer during the best sellers year and clearance. It's a three-feet event. Heartland Series, brought to you by your local Tennessee Ford dealers. Quality people, quality products. Happy holidays, straight from the heart. Birdbank, the Tonight Show with Jay Leno. Featuring Bradford Marsalis of the Tonight Show Band. Tonight, Jay welcomes NBC's Conan O'Brien. The music of Annie G. Comedian Sean Morey. And making his comedy debut, Ebenezer Scrooge.
I'd like to deny all charges against me. Let me just start off. I, I haven't done anything wrong. I, I just want to deny all charges. Everybody's doing it this week, so let's just deny the charges right from the start. Hey, you know what tonight is? Tonight is the night when you have to address Christmas cards to all the people you cut from your Christmas cards list whose cards you just got today. Have you done that yet, you know? I'm not sending them one. Oh, man, now I gotta send them one. Now you gotta write them back. You know, I like living here. I'm, I'm from New England originally, and it is more Christmassy back there. Some New England, you know. It takes a little getting used. It does take getting used to out here, you know? I, Santa just doesn't look the same since the liposuction, you know, and the fanny tuck, you know? It just, you know, you, you see him in the store, he's got the pecs, I, you know. Now, here's something I didn't know. This is kind of sad. You know, Santa no longer keeps a list of who's naughty or nice. They don't keep the list anymore. He just sees who's on hard copy now. You know, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it takes it from there. But folks seem to be getting into the holiday spirit. That's nice to see. The one week of the year, people really do get into it. You see them treating each other nice. In fact, today, the jury for Lyle Menendez exchanged presents with the jury for Eric Menendez. I thought that was very nice. They brought gifts. Very, very nice, yeah. yeah. Oh, and here's a last-minute shopping tip. For those of you who can't decide on that gift for that very special person, this is kind of neat. I saw this in the store. You might want to buy the new Joycelyn Elder's Marijuana Chia Pet. Have you seen this? Here you just water it every day. And, oh, it just grows and grows. And just, yeah. Beautiful thing. You know, even Dr. Kevorkian is happy. See, Dr. Gavorkian likes the day after Christmas. He loves drove, driving around the neighborhood, seeing all the dead trees out in the yard there, you know. <laughs> I know, it seemed like too good a run. I know, I know, I'm just rolling. Actually, merchants say this is the best shopping in years. In years, they haven't seen this many people in the stores since, I guess, the Rodney King verdict. Yeah, this is not... Hey! Here's an amazing statistic. According to a recent survey, over 2 billion, over 2 billion photographs have been taken so far this holiday season, and those are just of Michael Jackson's buttocks. That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> Did you all, uh, you see Michael Jackson on that private satellite feed to all the networks? Think of how big this was. Uh, you know, he was on every network at the same time, and not just the United States, all over the world. He was all over the world, live, at the same time. Wasn't that eerie? I mean, it looked like a, a scene from every bad science fiction movie. You know, where the, you know where the alien guy is about to dress the entire planet, you know? Huh? You know, I was, I was waiting for Michael to go, Attention, Earthlings! I am innocent of all charges! Attention, Earthlings! I mean, I couldn't shut my set off. I couldn't change the channel. <laughs> you know, this has been a rough year for Michael. Now, you know, we're, we're, you know, we're not joking about the actual thing, but it is a terrible, terrible year. I mean, I guess you know the other big rumor is that Michael's old girlfriend, Brooke Shields, is supposed to marry the drummer from Bon Jovi this weekend. Boy, that's so typical. And I mean, just another one of those sad stories. I mean, a man in uniform goes overseas for a few months, and when he comes back, another guy has married his woman. You know, it's just... just Terrible. That's terrible, yeah. yeah. And Domino's Pizza has announced it's dropping its 30-minute guarantee. Did you hear about that? They dropped the 30-minute guarantee. Don't have it anymore. In fact, the only people now who promise to deliver to your house what you want, when you want it, are the Arkansas State Police. Yeah, that's about <laughs> it. Yeah. That's about the only one. <laughs> 30 minutes or less. And First Lady Hillary Rodham Clinton, would, now she was scheduled to be on the Today Show, Good Morning America, and CBS This Morning Today, but I guess those appearances are all canceled. That's too bad. But the good news is her husband will be appearing on Love Connection Studs and a, uh, a special presidential edition of Cops. Yeah. Hey, here's some uh, wild news. Yesterday, Fidel Castro's daughter defected to the United States. Well, I mean, that, that's good, I guess. I feel kind of bad for Fidel. It must be tough when your own daughter defects from your country. Although I don't think the Reagans would have minded it. Yeah, probably not. I don't think so. What? Patty's gone? Well, it's a shame that Patty left. 
And Walmart has announced, I guess it's a good policy, Walmart has announced they will no longer sell handguns in their stores. Walmart announced they're not going to sell handguns. Well, sure, between the Brady Bill five-day waiting period, the three days it takes to find a Walmart clerk, the two days in line for the one open register, people were forgetting who they were going to shoot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Another strange story. This is only in California. I'm not making this up. This sounds very bizarre, and I guess it happened. I don't know legally how this could happen, but I guess it, it happened. A woman in Santa Monica, California, married herself this week. <laughs> this woman says she was sick and tired of hanging around, waiting to meet Mr. Wright, so she went and married herself. Had the ceremony, got the license, married herself. Get out of town. Not a get out of town. <laughs> Didn't I just say it was true? Weren't you listening? <laughs> it was in the news. I got a footnote for a free ticket now. <laughs> no, the, she married herself. Uh, don't ask me how she did it. She went and she performed the scenes, had the ceremony, married herself. You know, if anybody's going to marry themselves this week, I was sure it would have been Donald Trump. I was sure. <laughs> And there's new video out for sale, new big video. It's called How to Watch Professional Football. This is the perfect gift for anybody at CBS this year. Yeah, you might want to send it to me. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, how about this? They announced the winner of the $90 million Powerball lottery. One ticket. One ticket. Not a bunch of people. One guy won $90 million. Man in Washington, D.C. Listen to this. The man has 17 children. Man has 17 children, won 90 million. You know what he said he's going to do with the money when he gets the check? Buy some condoms. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, all right. guest tonight, uh, the young man uh, who follows us on, after this very program on Late Night with Conan O'Brien, a very nice guy. He was here, he made the announcement on this show uh, months before he started his own show. We're glad to have him back. We'll find out how things are going. Look like they're going pretty good to me, Mr. Conan O'Brien. Conan O'Brien is here. A uh, very funny comedian, Sean Maury is here. Sean Maury. And a uh, terrific musician, a man who has probably helped conceive as many babies as Johnny Mathis' greatest hits album. Wouldn't you say? Huh? Wouldn't you say? Kenny G. Kenny G is here. <laughs> Let's go say hello to Branford and the band. Hey, hello, Branford. Merry Christmas, Branford. Hey, Merry Christmas. Same to you, brother. Man. We won't be on tonight. The Pope is preempting. He'll be sitting in tomorrow night. So oh, really? Our oh, last show before I want to wish my band Merry Christmas, you guys. The great band. Right. Merry Christmas to our band. Hi, everybody. What do you got for us? Um, well, it's an old uh, meters tune. Huh? Remember the meters by any chance? I do remember the meters. Yes, yeah. I do. Aaron Neville's old band. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. meters. We're going to do one of their songs to start off. Let's do it. Branford Marcel. Two, three. <laughs> the largest uh, toy buying season of the entire year. So we thought we'd show you some of the new toys that many of the uh, boys and girls will be finding under their uh, trees this Christmas morning. Now, frankly, every little girl wants a Barbie doll for Christmas. Now, we all know that's fine, fine. Of course, what does a Barbie doll without the Barbie Malibu dream house to go with it? But with the recent fires, I'm sorry, this is about as close as you get, I guess. This is the Barbie. It's kind of the burned out Malibu dream house. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, there's a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Barbie and Ken kind of among the ruins. Now, don't write me any letters. It's only a joke. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But it really was too funny not to do. I got to apologize. Well, there they are standing in this Barbie. It's just magic earring Ken. And he's kind of waiting for the insurance guy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, little boys love playing with matchbox cars. Had them when I was a kid. Still have some of my matchbox cars. Here's a new matchbox toy with kind of a realistic twist. It's the mob-operated matchbox chop shop. There you go. See this way. Now your child can steal other kids' cars, strip them, sell the parts for cash, just like real life. Yeah. 
Okay. Let me ask you something. Did you ever get obsessed to a frightening degree with that stupid purple dinosaur thing, Barney? It's like a huge thing. Well, here is a doll designed to disillusion youngsters and to turn them away from this annoying PBS creature. But to do it gently, it's the Talking Barney Deprogramming Doll. You have a shot of that? Okay. You squeeze the hand, and instead of saying nice things to your child, you see, it says things like, Get your hands off me, you little creep. Why don't you take a bath? You stink. I hate you, and you hate me. Why don't you get on the bottom? You know, lots of little girls like to have their own play kitchens. Why should it just be for little girls? I think this is sexist, right? How about something that little boys can love? Something more realistic. Yeah. Well, it's the Fisher Price Single Guy Kitchen. Here you go. Look at that, huh? You got dirty dishes. You got burnt food in the oven here. You got empty pizza boxes everywhere, all over the place. Just like the way a real single guy lives. It's terrific. Now. Every year, the government comes out with a list of toys that it says are unsafe. And here are two of the toys topping that list. Now, I got to agree. You know, the conscience of some of these, these companies that release this stuff. This one here, this is the little box of tiny, swallowable stuff. Now, it's, geez, it's terrible. It's, it's everything your kid will put in their mouth in one handy box, every kind of small toy. Now, unless you know the Heimlich maneuver, just, just forget about this one. It's terrible. And here's another toy on the market. I, I can't believe this one. This is from the NRA. Put it up here. Ugh. It's called My First Hunting Accident. Now, <laughs> as you see, it has shells and uh, three pints of blood, and kids, be sure to match your blood with the blood in your set before you use it, okay? Just one of those things you might want to check. Now, you know, some of the safest toys in the market are these Nerf toys. You know what they are? You know those squeezable bats and you can hit the 